Hello friends, in the last session we saw how we can create the docker compose file for any project and we created the same for our demo application. Now friends, in this session let us see how easy it is to manage multiple docker containers with the usage of docker compose tool. So friends, as now the docker compose file is ready and so let us start executing the docker compose commands to manage the containers which are configured inside the docker compose file. So friends, for this let us go to the putty command line terminal. And friends, the first thing which we are going to do here is the deletion of all the existing containers. So let us execute the docker rm command to delete all the containers. So docker rm hyphen f and then the inner command which is docker ps hyphen a hyphen q. And now let us press enter to execute this command. And here with this command's execution, all the existing docker containers got deleted successfully. So let us verify the same by executing the docker ps hyphen a command. And with this here we can see that no containers are available on this machine now. And now friends, let us also delete all the docker images which are present inside this machine. So the command to delete all the images is docker rmi and then the inner command which is docker images and so now let us press enter again to execute this command and with this command's execution now all the docker images are deleted successfully from this machine so let us verify the same by executing the docker images command and with this now friends there is no docker container and docker images present inside this machine and so now let us go to the project build context directory. So cd and then the path of the project build context directory which is docker files and then the second app hyphen build context. And now here let us execute the ls command to see this directory's content. So ls and here we can see friends that this directory contains the docker hyphen compose.yml file. And so now let us build the project with the docker compose.yml file using the docker compose tool commands. So friends the command to build all the images and run all the containers which are defined inside the docker compose yml file is docker compose and then up and then the hyphen d option for running the containers as the background processes. And so now let us press enter to execute this command. And here we can see friends that the docker images are getting downloaded. So friends, let me forward this session till the time the images get downloads and the docker containers are deployed. And now friends, the execution of docker-compose up command is over. And here we can see the last two lines of the logs which are saying creating mysql db-container2 and creating app with mysql container2 and this means that these docker containers are created and started successfully. And so now let us verify this using the docker ps command. And here we can see friends that the two docker containers are now up and running on this machine. So friends that's it. This is how all the images are built and all the containers are started with single docker hyphen compose up command. And friends as the containers are now up and running. So let us hit the application URL in the browser in a similar manner as we did in the previous session. So let us go to the browser. And then here let us type the application URL in the browser address bar which is http colon double slash and then the public IP of the server's machine. And then the port which is 8082 in our case. And then at last the application name which is app with mysql in our case. And now let us press enter and here we can see friends the application responded us with the registration form page. So now let us fill this registration form. So let us give the username as Mary this time and then email id as mary.m at the gmail.com and then password as Mary again. And now friends if we will click on this register button then we will get the error related to the database. So let us click on this register button and here we can see friends that we got the HTTP error 500 as expected. 
Now friends, could any of you guess what is the reason of this error? If you are not able to guess the cause of this error, then let us do one thing. Let us check the logs of this container. So let us go to the putty command line terminal again. And here friends, let us execute the docker logs command to see the containers log. So docker logs and then the container name which is app with mysql container 2 in our case. And here we can see friends the error logs. So let us go little up. And here we can see the error log line which is java.sql.sql syntax error exception unknown database college app underscore db. So friends the reason why we got this exception is because we did not set up the database and the table inside the mysql container which is needed by our application. So friends for setting up the database let us log in to the mysql container and let us create the college app underscore db database and a student table inside it. And friends these are the four mysql client queries. The first query will connect to the mysql server. The second query will create the college app underscore db database. The third query will allow us to switch to the college app underscore db database. And then the fourth query will create the student table inside the college app underscore db database. And now friends I have copied all these queries. And so now let us go to the putty command line tool. And then here friends let us paste all those four mysql client queries. And so friends with this the database setup for this application is done successfully. Now friends to reflect these database changes inside the application we need to restart the application container. As the application container contains the old db connection object which is unaware of all these changes. So let us exit from here. And now let us restart the application container. And so now let us execute the docker container command to restart the specific container which is docker restart and then the container name which is app with mysql container 2 in our case. And with this now friends let us go to the browser again. And then here let us hit the application URL again. And now let me click on this register button again. And with this we can see here friends that this time the registration is successful. And now if we will click on this view all registered records. Then here we will be able to see the list of all the registered students. So friends with this we have seen how easy it is to start or restart the docker containers with the help of docker compose tool. And friends till now we have seen that we are able to build all the docker images and are able to run all the docker containers which are defined inside the docker compose yml file with the execution of only one command which is docker hyphen compose up. Now friends docker compose tool have several other commands also like docker hyphen compose stop which when executed stops all the running containers defined inside the docker hyphen compose yml file. And then we have the docker hyphen compose start which is used to start all the stopped containers defined inside the docker compose file. And then we also have the docker hyphen compose restart command which restarts all the containers which are defined inside the docker compose yml file. And then there is a command docker hyphen compose down which when executed stops and then removes all the docker containers which are defined inside the docker compose yml file. So now friends let us try executing these docker compose commands one by one. So let us start with docker hyphen compose stop command. So let us go to the putty command line terminal again. And then here friends let us start by executing the docker hyphen compose stop command. So docker hyphen compose and then stop. And with this commands execution both the docker containers which are defined in our yml file are stopped now and so let us verify the same by executing the docker ps command. And here we can see that we don't have any running docker containers now on this machine. So now friends let us execute the docker hyphen compose start command to start all the containers again. 
so docker hyphen compose and then start and with this commands execution here we can see that both these containers are started again so let us verify the same by executing the docker ps command again and here we can see friends that both these containers are started again and now friends let us execute the docker hyphen compose restart command so docker hyphen compose and then restart and with this command's execution friends we can see that both these containers are restarted successfully and so now friends finally let us execute the docker hyphen compose down command so docker hyphen compose and then down and then let me press enter here to execute this command and friends with this command's execution we can see in the logs here that first both these containers are stopped and then both these containers are removed from this machine so friends if we will run the docker ps a command now then in that case also we will not be able to see the docker containers as the docker compose down command has deleted these containers from this machine so let us execute the docker ps a command and with this here we can see friends that no containers are now present inside this machine so friends with this we have covered one of the most important tool in the docker world which is docker compose tool and friends with this i hope you would have enjoyed this session and got to know how easy it is to deploy and manage multiple docker containers using the docker compose tool also friends this is the last session in this course and here i hope you would have enjoyed this course and must have got good knowledge and confidence in docker and containerization technology now so friends with this let us stop this session here so now see you in the next course soon till then take care tata and bye bye